Hi guys, it's Kirsten, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are doing a book haul of 20 books. I am so excited and so happy. So yes, it is pretty early for me to be doing a book haul but as I've got so many already I've decided I'm just going to do it there and then I'll film another book haul probably in about a month's time and by then should probably have quite a few books again. So let's get started. Starting us off, my partner got me Winnie the Pooh for my birthday and I was so happy with this. I love Winnie the Pooh. This edition is beautiful. I love the colour. I love all the illustrations that are in it. Just a brilliant, brilliant book. And it was great because I can read it as part of Believeathon, which you would have seen or will see in my vlog, which is going to be happening after this video. He also got me editions of the Harry Potter books. So we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban. I love these editions. I love the illustrations that are on the front cover. We decided to go for Hufflepuff and Slytherin because I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in Ravenclaw. So it'll be nice to have them. I want to get the fourth one, Goblet of Fire, in Gryffindor and then I'll decide what I'm going to have the last three as. But I was really, really happy with these editions. I love the sprayed edges and everything about them. I think they're so, so pretty. But moving on to books that I bought myself, I did go a little bit crazy. Some of these were for my June TBR because I needed a few books to fulfill those prompts and I didn't really want to reread all the ones that I've got. So I bought a few new ones for that and then a few just to treat myself for my birthday because why not? So starting us off, we have Queen of Blood. I'm really excited to do this. First of all, it's a tiny book. So if I compare it, look how tiny this book is. It's like the old fantasy books they used to get where how small they would be. So it looks like quite a chunky book, but actually it's only 300 odd pages. And this is all about a queen that has the power to protect her people from the malevolent spirits and it's only she can do this and she's got a few other girls in training and I believe we follow the perspective of one of those girls. I'm not 100% sure what happens with this but I am really excited for it and honestly I think it should be a really good series. If I like this first one it'll be a nice one to carry on with. It seems like it's got a lot of fantastical elements that I really like so hopefully this will be a good read to start. Then a book you have seen me read, which is Looking Glass by Christina Henry. This is the third book in the Alice series and it is a bind up of four short stories. I did enjoy this book, I read it slightly earlier in the month. There are a few things that I wish I could change about it, but in all honesty it's still a good read and those stenciled edges are to die for. Moving on, we have The Deathless Girls by Kieran Millwood Hargraves, I think I'm saying that right. And I'm really excited for this. This is a Dracula retelling, but from Dracula's Bride's perspective. It's a book that I've had my eye on for a while and Waterstones were having a sale with it. So I was just like, I need to pick this up. And again, look at those sprayed edges. I love the cover. I love the design of it all. I'm really excited to get around to this. It's been on my TBR for a while and yeah really can't wait. I really hope it does this well. I like Dracula retellings normally, so I'm excited to add this one to my collection. Then we have Strange the Dreamer by Lenny Taylor, and this is another book that I'm really excited to read. So this is all about Laszlo Strange, who believes in this place that nobody else does, and then one day these people come along needing his help, and he decides to go with them on this adventure. I quite like stories like that. I like the fact that it's got fantastical elements. I like the fact that we're going on an adventure. I just think it should be such a good book. I've seen really, really good reviews, which is why I added it to my TBR in the first place. And this cover is lovely. I am in love with this cover. I think it's really beautiful. I was tempted to go for the hardback because I really like the hardback cover, but in the end went for paperback just because I find them easier to read. And this is a really nice, floppy paperback. I also picked up Shadow and Bone by Leah Bardugo and this is a book that is quite big on YouTube. Leah Bardugo is a very prominent author on booktube and I haven't actually read any of her works so I thought I need to start off somewhere. I was tying between this or Ninth House but I saw this and I liked the cover of it. I thought it looked really nice and I know that the Grisha universe is quite a long overarching series so it would be nice to get my teeth into it if I enjoy this book. So we're going to give it a try. Hopefully I enjoy it and then I can move on to some of her other ones. I know Six of Crows is also quite popular but we'll see. 
a recent edition is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and I'm really excited. I hope I get round to reading this one soon. I'm really in the mood for a bit of YA mystery, maybe a bit of thriller thrown in. This book is all about a girl who is in school doing a bit of extra credit and she is looking into a cold case and it's a cold case of one of the students that had been murdered or at least that's what they're assuming because the body's never been found and the police thought it was her boyfriend at the time because he then committed suicide but she's not convinced and so she ends up looking into it. I'm really excited for this, it's had really good reviews and I know there is a second book out as well. I'm really hoping I enjoy it and then I can go on to the second book as well and as I said I'm really in the mood for something like that. I haven't read something like this in such a long time and I'm just really feeling it. Oh, getting there slowly. Next up we have Circe by Madeline Miller and this is another one that I'm really excited for. First of all the foiling on this cover is awesome and this is a mythical retelling about a goddess and she has to decide between staying with immortals or going into the mortal realm. I do talk about this on my June TBR because this is one of the main books that I'm really looking forward to because it's like the overarching storyline that I'm trying to do. I'm really excited to read this and honestly I've heard really good things and I'm just, mm, I'm excited for this one. Then we have this, this one was more of an impulse buy than anything else, that's Hold Back the Tide. And again, it's kind of one of those mystery ones where the girl that we follow in this has to live with her dad and she believes that her dad murdered her mum and it seems very interesting, again, got some thriller vibes. And like I said, I am kind of feeling that. Also, one of my goals for this year is to read a bit more horror slash mystery so this should hopefully fall into that category for me just because I am trying to branch out of fantasy just a little bit more and this is definitely one that I've seen good reviews it's quite a short book so it'll be a good way to at least try it and see whether I like it or not. Continuing my Sarah J Mouse collection we have Catwoman. I was originally going to get this when it was first published but then I never got around to getting it. I normally like Sarah J Maas books apart from her newest one Crescent City, I'm not really into that at all, it's just too much swearing in there for me. But this, honestly, it sounds like good fun. I like all the DC heroines that are in that universe, I think they're just so much fun and honestly it seems like a really good YA, the usual Sarah J Maas thing which honestly I like, I loved Throne of Glass so I'm hoping I'll enjoy this one as well. Continuing with my Brandon Sanderson love, we have The Arcanum Unbounded. I am really excited for this. I did, well, I was mainly interested in one story in particular and that's Edge Dancer. But that, to get on its own, was like £14 and this whole bind up is £10. So I was like, well, it makes more sense. It's got lots of short stories. That's the whole premise on it. Short stories about the Cosmere that's happening and just gives you a little bit more information on certain characters. It will be really interesting to read and I know there is a Brandon Sanderson read-along happening for his Cosmere books. So I'll probably wait until then to read this one when that happens. I'm really looking forward to it, especially because you've got Rhythm of War coming out later this year. So it will be nice to actually catch up with all the little short stories that are in this as well. Okay, we are getting there, I promise. <laughs> Now we have House of Salt and Sorrows, and this is a retelling, I believe it's of the 13 Dancing Sisters or something, I don't know the original story at all. I was more intrigued because our main character has 13 sisters and they are dying very mysteriously in this house and that again seems like it will do well for my goal of reading horror slash thrillers throughout the year and also it's a retelling, I love retellings, I think they are just amazing so I'm really looking forward to this one, I have high hopes, it is a standalone from what I know again it's not too chunky but it does seem really interesting and one that I should hopefully enjoy, it's also the read-along for um, Myth Take for next month so I'm looking forward to reading it then, so yeah I have high hopes for this one, I really hope it holds up to it um, but we'll have to see Next on the list is Winterwood. Winterwood was a buy that I originally bought for my June TBR and then I changed my mind, but I am looking forward to it. First of all, I love this cover. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Again, it's not that thick a book and it's, a, from what I can remember, it's about basically this town that lives on the edge of the woods. These woods are filled with malevolent spirits again, like some sort of 
darkness that's going on there and then you have this new person come to town and something goes wrong. It sounds very fairy tale like which honestly I do enjoy but I don't I don't know when I'm going to be in the mood to read this one. Probably will more likely be July time than anything else. I do enjoy the concept of it all. Um, I just can't decide when I'm going to get around to reading this one. It was more of an impulse buy and also cover buy because I really like this cover. I think it's stunning. So yeah, we'll get around to it eventually. Then we have Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shauna Maguire. I loved this book, so I did get it earlier in the month and I read it pretty much straight away. It is a short story, it's only, well, just under 200 pages and I loved this book so much. It's a retelling of Jack and Jill with a dark twist to it and I think it was really well done. It's part of his Way With Children series and I have actually managed to find a copy of Every Heart of Doorway so I've ordered that. I'm just waiting for it to be dispatched but yes, I cannot wait. I love it so much. I really enjoyed this book and I'm really excited to carry on with the rest of the series. I really recommend it if you like retellings. Down to the last four. We have The Guinevere Deception by Kristen White. I really like her books. I've read the And I Darken series. I've also read The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. And now I'm moving on to this one. This is supposed to be a King Arthur retelling. I enjoy all of her retellings so far. I know some people are a bit 50-50 with her writing, but I quite enjoy it. I'm looking forward to actually reading this one as well. Again, this cover is lovely. I'm a little bit disappointed in the cover itself. It seems really flimsy, which I don't quite like, but it has got a nice floppiness to it, so I suppose it's not too bad. But yeah, that's just me being picky. But I'm looking forward to this. I like her works. I'm planning on reading this in June. And honestly, I've heard mixed reviews. I hope I enjoy it because I have enjoyed her work, but I guess we'll find out. Then we have Capturing the Devil by Kerry Manalisco. I really enjoyed her Stalking Jack the Ripper books. I've got the first three and I'm really excited to finally get hold of this fourth one. I enjoy the whole story. I like the fact that it's YA mystery and it's always a murder mystery and it's just got something in there that just captures my attention. And I love the fact that there's normally illustrations throughout this book as well. I'm really excited to read this one. And yes, I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it. I know it's going to be at least a four star. So I just hope it, I hope it holds up to the rest of the series because I've enjoyed them all so much so far. We also have The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. Again, this is a book I'm really excited to read. It seems like a really fun read. It's supposed to be a, based on a Slytherin character and Basically, it's about this woman that has decided that she is going to seduce the king so that she can marry him and then kill him so that she is queen and answers to no one. And that sounds hilarious. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm interested to try it. Again, there's been a few mixed reviews, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm looking forward to it. So, yes, honestly, this is in my June TBR and I cannot wait. And the final book is My Dark Vanessa. This is a book that... Honestly, it's completely outside my comfort zone. As you can see, I haven't had any contemporaries. This is the first one. And honestly, I'm looking forward to it. It will be good to push my boundaries again. Reading more contemporaries is a goal that I have set myself for this year. So I'm interested to start that. I know that this is going to be quite a difficult read, but it should be quite impactful. There's been a lot of really good reviews about this book. So I'm really looking forward to trying it. So it's all about this woman who when she was a child was groomed by her teacher and now that she's older there's a lot of other women coming forward to prosecute this man and she needs to decide whether she's going to step forward and prosecute him or not because to her the relationship meant a lot to her and she didn't see it as him grooming her or doing things that he shouldn't be doing. She was very empowered by this relationship from what I've heard other people saying. So it sounds like a really interesting read. It sounds like it is going to be difficult in places because of the subject matter. But at the same time, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to pushing my boundary that little bit more and trying something that's outside my comfort zone. So we'll see. So that is all 20 of the books that I have bought so far in the month. As said, I do actually have more on the way, but they will be in the next book haul because in all honesty, I think this video has gone on for quite a while. Let me know in the comments below if any of these books you've read or you plan to read and just, yeah, what your thoughts are on them all. 
If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All my social media links to my Goodreads, Twitter and Instagram are linked below and I'll see you in the next video.